Hello. Merry Christmas. It's just took two days. Uh, oh, one day after Christmas. Uh, today we're going to do a video on this 2006 one owner Itasca Horizon. It's a beautiful motorhome with only 18,000 miles. Those of the folks that have subscribed to our channel, they'll know we put hardwood floors on everything we get. It's got a waterproof hardwood floors. We also had a little bit of a 3M film was going bad. We repainted it, made it look really, really good. Uh, also shine the headlights up. Take a look at this front. Beautiful. Now it does have a few little flaws as it obviously being a 2006. It's a 12, but about to be 13 years old motorhome. Uh, this chrome piece, you can change it. It's got a little rust spot here, maybe one here and one there. But we painted, had some clear coat issue coming off and we took 3M film off. It's a beautiful motorhome. They slide out generator. So you open this up like that and then you push it down. And let's see. Sometimes they're a little hard to open up when they are. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, oh, there is a lock. There's a lock pin down. Okay, let me take the pin off. Yeah, that, that'll help. Okay. There we go. So that pin right there. Had a little. Okay, this is a Florida motorhome. You see a little bit of a rust surface. There's some people call me and say, is that a rusted motorhome? Listen, those guys are like one totally rust-free motorhome. They have no surface rust. I have a news for you. You need to buy a brand new motorhome. <laughs> Maybe it's one of the customers been uh, getting so anal about, I want to see what's a rust look like. This is a Florida one owner motorhome. It's kind of funny. Uh, it's Florida motorhome. Some of the northern motorhome you would think will have a rust, but they all have a little rust here and there. Okay. A little surface rust. As long as it's not rusted out or rust bucket, we're, we're doing good. All right, windshields are free from any cracks or well, star cracks. Looks really good. Uh, 06 is a taller coach. So if you compare with the 05 motorhome, it'll be a little shorter. Okay, it's closed. The front cap looks good. The crown, if you would call that above windshield. Um, let's come around here. It's got brand new tires in the front. 08 of 18 was a date coat on them. Uh, 2018, these are like earlier this year, or technically it's a December 26th, so it's still this year, soon to be last year, but good tires in the front, back tires are original, it could be changed, but we'll talk about it when we get there. Take a look at this beautiful paint scheme, it's like gray, uh, off-white, or cream, or whatever you call, what color would you call this, Nicole? Gray and what? Off-white, yeah, gray, off-white, little charcoal gray silver. silver yeah that's beautiful beautiful color scheme got a little cap missing here on oasis elite electric awning i think that awning uh sometimes you got to bang on to get it out uh, Eighteen thousand miles you know really low miles it's got some stuff that uh, has a uh, age related flaws here we have a old school tv and uh fm cd player all that little uh speakers and all that now you can change that out put a nice tv if you'd like maybe just a little scratch here no i'll take it back that was not a scratch it was just a buff out one of those things all right we have outside oh, look they call cool matic oh, refrigerator I guess this thing would probably go in there somehow. All right, deep slide out tray. Uh, even though compartment doors, the storage compartment door slides out with the um, slide. We'll show you that in a little bit. It has three slide outs and the slides are closed right now. I can't believe the color, whatever we call it, a gray silver, Beautiful color scheme. I love this. Uh, beautiful color. The aluminum wrap on top of the uh, electric awning is a little flaking off. Um, you know, the purpose of this video to show you good, bad, and ugly, you know. So you save yourself time. If you're looking for something brand new, this is not it. Uh, but if you're looking for a, a good, solid, used motorhome, it is it. It's a beautiful. 
18,000 miles, again, 275, 80, 22 and a half. They're not showing any dry rotted crack, okay? So the original tires, come close and show them the sidewalls. No dry cracks that I see. Uh, you know, maybe very minor on the bottom, I see, but uh, you could also change these tires with 295, 75, 22 and a half, the same diameter, or you could buy Michelin. And these are like probably $500 a piece, so about $2,000 for four new tires in the back if you wanted Michelin. If you wanted something off, maybe this thing could be buffed out. I don't know, I see a little paint coming off there. Got a side, uh, whatever you call it, uh, dock lights. This is where the batteries are located at. And you see the red fluid, we had it all winterized right now. Wow, oh, okay, just a little leak out. It's winterized right now. Uh, this big awning, and we need to open it up and fix this little strap right there. Uh, it needs to be brought back in the center so you can hook it up right here. All right, let's see. Uh, that's probably your basement air conditioning unit, and it is. Uh, Winnebago does a really good job. By the way, speaking of Winnebago, this is like a Winnebago tour. Uh, really nice metal home. Uh, it's the same thing as a Winnebago tour, and Itasca would call it a uh, horizon. Got a little scrub here, a couple little chip, maybe a little bit right here on bottom. Uh, could be touched up. 400 horse Cummins. It's got ISL, 8.9 liter. Let me show you this. We got a rear uh, opening for engine, side mount radiator, really nice chassis. Uh, we installed this brand new. It was cracking up a little bit by just sitting around. We put a new um, antifreeze, what do you call the reservoir, new filters, oil that has been just serviced recently. Uh, really nice metal home. So it's a 400 horse Cummins. ISL, L for Lima. That's a great motor. We got 10,000 pound towing capacity, Reese type three hitch with a seven pin connector here. We'll probably get up on top, show you something of how the roof is in condition. It's a one piece fiberglass roof, side mount radiator, uh, two slide on this side. We have an awning on a bathroom and another awning on a window awning on a living room here. Elco aluminum wheels, should have a 50 amp power cord. Yep, and it's electric, so how about that? That's a, it's got a button to go in and out. I think we have a coach power off, so it's a electric cord reel. We got a Dimension 2000 watts inverter. Uh, transfer switch up here. All that, we got a TV cable hookup from a campground, all that stuff is right there. Now, I think, uh, stand back, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful color scheme. I love these colors. Gray is in style right now, so hey. Hey, kind of like my pants. It's gray, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it, Nicole? Gray is in style right now. And this is a 2006. All right, uh, sewer hose, all that connector. Let me close that, all right. This is the outside shower. It's been winterized right now. Also, the power of the, the water wheel is also powered. You hit the button and it goes back in. Right now, I have a coach power is turned off. But that's really nice. You can just pull it out, hook it up to city uh, connection, and uh, water tank drain. I close it. We drain the water tank out right now. It's winterized. All right. That's your gravity fill water. You can fill it up from there too. Some more compartments. By the way, I just noticed that little thing right here. We had a deep scratch when the guy came and did our 3M film and took, took care of the uh, uh, clear coat issue. He also took the deep gouge out. It had a little paint. I mean, you know, minor stuff but make when you when you work on little minor stuff you make them stand tall so you know overall just a few little scratches on a passenger side rear or a little scuff mark other than that this coach is in really really good shape these are some tire covers uh, extension ladder we're gonna use that in just about a couple of minutes to get up on top again 
When this slide out open up, I'm going to show you this compartment slides along with it. Lots of long air hoses if you want to self inflate your tires. LP hookup, money hole, Michelin tire, brand new again. And uh, the air hoses in front when we open the generator when we slid out. So, so now we're we're pretty much done outside. I'd like to mention all the windows in good shape. They're not foggy because if you're looking at 05, 06 motorhomes, many times the windows are fogged up. This one doesn't seem to have any of that issue. So let's get up on top and check out the roof, see what the roof looks like. Here we're on top of this beautiful uh, one piece fiberglass roof. This has got some leaves here, got an in motion type satellite dish. Two big air horns, uh, regular amplified antenna. I see the little little uh, stain here, and I know the guy had a nice metal roof. It might have had some water leak from top and the roof, and it's a little rust spot. But uh, that comes free, no extra charge. Okay, unless you want to buff it out. Oh yeah, you can take it out. Okay. Okay, so uh, no worries on roof, solid one piece fiberglass roof we're team player my wife is downstairs open up all the slide out look at the slide out topper in really good shape once again i'm going to show it close close up now i was talking about this uh aluminum wrapper a little bit of paint's coming off you want to throw a couple hundred bucks my paint guy can paint that okay not a big deal uh this slide out topper on living room it's in really good shape the bedroom is not open yet but uh all the front caps look good. Uh, decal, I mean, what do you call the, uh, all the uh, caulking looks good. It's just darkened up because of age, but no dry rot. It cracked a little bit of a small solar panel. Take a look at this refrigerator vent. Not dry rotted or it's in good shape, but probably factory. Shows his age well because it was covered. It stayed in a covered garage. It was not enclosed garage, but it had a metal when my driver went to Florida to pick it up, the guy was in his, I would say late 80s, early 90s, uh, and got rid of it. It says one owner bought it from an individual. So those folks are on the internet looking at motorhomes. You gotta compare oranges and apples. There are a lot of dealers, I'm not gonna put my competition down. The bigger dealers, they need lots of motorhomes in flux. They need a lot of inventory. They go to different auctions and buy bank repos and trade-ins and stuff. We tend to have motorhomes I bought from individuals. Uh, because we're not a big dealers, we just sell four or five motorhomes a month, or even less sometimes. So we buy from individuals, and in my 18, 19 years of doing business, um, I've got my own personal data. Uh, they are in a better shape. Uh, like we took care of a little 3M film, a uh, couple of little scratch here and there, and put a hardwood floor, we ripped out a carpet. We don't like carpet, but overall, it's a solid rig. 18,000 miles, just really nice motorhome. Look at all these, they're original. Uh, vent caps not tethered up not, nothing wrong here so uh, enough talking about the roof is in really good shape it's a fiberglass roof uh, back cap looks good so let's go back down and look at finish the rest of the video here all right so we have a slides open right now awnings are out uh, that awning it needs to be we we'll have a strap that needs to put back on the other slide we didn't open up all the patio I mean what do you call the awnings on windows but they do have a strap right dead center into the uh, metal wrap so that opens up take a look at our picture it'll come out and hook right here only one has a problem we'll put take care of it we will have to drill out the uh, rivet and slide that strap in the middle of it but we've got two awnings here but well, these are slides open right now you can look at it all right let's go inside show you inside we crank the engine up hit button twice I'm gonna show you that button it's a HWH automatic leveling. You just hit the button one time and it levels it itself. So this thing rides on Evolution Freightliner chassis. It's got uh, buttons here. You can configure your own numbers and go in and out. Itasca is lit up. All right, step in this motorhome. You're going to love it. You turn the, you shut the door behind you, Nicole. I'll get it. Oh, you got it. All right, this is a strap that we're going to put it in. You know, some of those folks, uh, I'm a nitpicker, so I, I kind of 
drive people crazy, but that's the way I am. We're going to put that on, okay? Uh, on the back side, passing the side, big window. All right, take a look at these seats. Uh, Winnebago, Winnebago makes their own seats. If this is adjustable. It's got a little thing that goes here and the little roller, it adjusts. All right, so let's start here. Got smart steering wheel, turn ignition on. You have to wait for the instrumentation, uh, the cluster to come on. Wait to start is already off because we already cranked it up once. Fire right up. 18,679 miles. It's got a little onboard computer that comes from Freightliner. It shows you all kinds of stuff, trip meter, engine service, whatever you need to see. It, the previous owner also put a Bluetooth radio here. I think it is a Bluetooth radio. Home. Let's see. Uh, I don't know, uh, but it, it, it radio works. Here's your backup monitor. It also has, uh, no, it doesn't have side cameras. Okay, generator off and on. Uh, air conditioning control, and this is the HWH leveling control. See if you can get close, Nicole, see if they can see it from back. It says uh, HWH computerized leveling. You hit a button one time on level and it levels it itself. And these are your slide out control for the front. Uh, we took this thing off from here. It used to control old school radio that was here before this was changed. It has a sun visor center, sun visor driver center, and a passenger side mirror heat, power mirrors, six speed Allison, little cup holder, 12 volt plug in for your cigarette lighter, air horn, it's a loud horn. You can also turn it off and, and have a city horn. Defrost fan, battery boost, engine brakes. It's got a low and high. I like that, that you have a high and a low. When you put on high, we'll probably get on the high one and show you how that does. Uh, let's see, it's got a telescopic and tilt wheel, smart control here, so you got your ICC buttons here, Viper blades, uh, all that stuff is right here, cruise control. Um, let's see, that's about it in the front. All right, let's continue our video. Here, we got an older TV. Uh, if you want to buy this and you request this, our RV tech, he's uh, extremely behind because of holidays, but we could charge a few hundred bucks and put a big TV, or you could put a 47 inch TV here with a, uh, that things swivel around. You could put some really nice TV up here. Uh, it's old, old school CD player, DVD player, VHS, the King Dome disc up on top, the controller is here. You need to have your own, uh, uh, you got to have your own uh, on and off, power up, please wait. You got to have your own receiver. This is a tall coach, I love it. All right, both of these seats swivel around. This seat uh, has a, let's see, yep, it does turn. Pull it around, yep. Uh, this one is not powered. This one is a power seat. Yep, this is a power seat. So both these seats will turn around. Beautiful hardwood floors. These are waterproof. So instead of putting a cheap floor, we put these are like two dollars and eh, thirty-nine cents. They were three dollars. We've kind of getting a better deal now, uh, but they're a lot better because a water and a motorhome you can't keep them keep it away. They, uh, you may have a water leak or when you get slide in and out or you're at the beach, you're going to come in and out. It may have water from sink, kitchen area, so they're a waterproof floor. We love this lighter color. So let's see over here. This is a Winnebago special. It comes out like this. And those are the folks that have seen Winnebago's, they do this stuff. It's got an electric recliner. And right here, you got a, two cup holders. You can have that TV on a swivel mount. You can flip it over that way, or you can get carried away and put a TV behind that sofa. But you got to modify some stuff. If you got a money and a little bit of wood skill, uh, you could do all kinds of modification. But you could probably put a TV here and, and flip it this way so you can watch it from there. And this thing also folds down all the way out and becomes about full size bed. So that's how that works. That also becomes bed. It just uh, folds open. Got some storage under there. All the lights are here. Let's see what's in here. 
Oh, nice little island gonna come out of here. How about that? Does it come out anymore? Oh yeah, it does. Uh, I've seen some of the old Winnebago, I mean, uh, not a Winnebago bounder and stuff. You could actually make a little platform here and make a nice little extra counter space, but that's, that's me thinking, seeing all kinds of other motorhomes and get ideas. Lock that in place. A little trash can, some deep drawers. I mean, they're pretty deep. Look at this. Corian countertops, dual sink, uh, stainless steel pull out sprayer, a little water purification system, nice woodwork, convection oven. Now how about this? We have a dishwasher, three burner gas stove, a little, it's chipped off, wow, it's right here, hmm, it must have happened in our possession, but uh, it could be glued back up, yep, but it is broken, all right, we're going to put it up in one of these doors so we don't lose it. Doesn't look that bad, but it is uh, got more counter space, got lights there. Four door refrigerator with an ice maker. I'm gonna go and turn the engine off. Nicole, show them that uh, vacuum cleaner. You see on the bottom? Put your feet, like push it in, and it'll come on. So that's really neat. So right here in the kitchen or kids been eating or adult been eating right here. Uh, it's got, uh, this thing actually has another leaf on the other side. So you can take it out of the uh, uh, camping mode, I think, and uh, turn it around. You can make a big oval thing. It's got two extra chairs back there. I love this big bay windows. They're really, really big. If, as you can see on the bottom, they go all the way to the bottom. does have some stain. Okay. Uh, again, uh, you could change those and put those new kind, but the window treatments looks really good shape. By the way, ceilings are in good shape, not, uh, we had a one, we fixed this one right here. If you know anything about Winnebago, sometimes they droop. We had this one fixed. No water leak, it's just the glue, that heat and cold, the glue gives out and they fall down. But we had only one uh, panel and we took care of it. The rest of them looks good. Hey, got a ceiling fan up here. Uh, so, you know, crumbs, you could just, uh, sweep it in there. Okay, that's pretty neat. Also has a central vacuum system. You can hook it up there. A little pantry that slides out. Winnebago does a really good job on it. Let's see if I can figure that out. There we go. You always have some hidden pantries. That's Winnebago for you. Another door that gives you complete privacy here. Locks in place. Should have a little small little cabinet, dimension, uh, inverter controller, true air, residential, HVAC cooling. We have, we're in electric heat. God, i got to turn it down. It's hot in here. Okay. Uh, your monitor panel, house batteries, it shows you 13 and 2, uh, coach batteries, uh, engine batteries at 12.3, 40 amps being used because we are using heat pumps right now. It'll probably drop 19. See? It just dropped. You only see this on uh, energy management system when you are using generator. When you plugged in a 50 amp, it won't show you. 369 hours on generators. That's very low hours. Uh, engine block heater, LP off and on. LP, water heater, you can run it on 110 volt or LP heat. Uh, either way. Um, water pump off and on. All that stuff works. We guarantee all that stuff will work. All right. So it's got a ceramic tile in the entrance and as well as in kitchen and the bathroom area. These are real ceramic tiles. Uh, nice little counter space, medicine cabinet, fantastic fan up there, a real china toilet. Yep, got another closet, a uh, little cabinet back here. Oh, wow, got some toilet paper. They come free. Oh man, they're loaded up, ready to go camp. All right. So that's that. Got another slide out door. I'll show you that, but check this out. Very tall coach, so 
a little slip resistant pad on the bottom. I mean, look at this. I'm six feet tall and I got my shoes on here. I mean, it's, it's, it's really tall. Uh, really nice. Got a towel holder here. Uh, no water leaks, nothing. You know, this is a good coach. You saw the roof. So that's a big, good sized shower. Also got a little privacy door here. And locks in place. Hmm, it's a little glue or glitter makes, you, makes me feel like it was water, but it's not a water, it's just glitter. Uh, speaking of that chair, it's got a little thing that slides out and a little storage, flavor. I mean, if you don't like this, you can get rid of it or there's somewhere, some place to. A couple of switches are bad. I noticed my wife trying to turn all the lights on says some of these lamps didn't come on. They actually had a cover on them, protective plastic cover on. The person, it's a Tiffany and Company, Tiffany series. Uh, Okay, but they're, they're really nice shades. It's just probably this switches are bad, okay? A thermostat back here for suburban heat. So he's got an LP heat as well. Besides having a, you have a hardwood floors here. We got rid of the carpet here, put a hardwood floors. Uh, we have not put a bedspread, you know. We don't get into that, uh, you know, making it look really pretty. Sometimes we do. We don't have time to do it, but let me tell you what, you can put your own bedspread. Get on Amazon or go to Walmart and you can get some nice one. Got a little bit of a storage here for extra bedding and pillows and stuff you want to throw it in there. It is a his and her sleep number bed. So, yep, it works. 5, 15, 35, whatever you want. To, you want a firmness you want. There he goes. It just came on. I hear it. A little coat closet here. So model, this is a model 40KD, kitchen double slide, I guess. It's got 10,000 pound towing capacity, all that stuff's written right here, 2006. Some drawers. And those are the folks who like to modify stuff. You could actually uh, uh, get cut this off. You have to get rid of this drawer, do something. You can make a king size bed if you'd like to. But you got to modify it. Maybe you get rid of both side kitchen or what do you call the corner a nightstands, and then you can make wider bed. But it's queen size bed. Uh, got nice little. Uh... Hey there, and people can see you too, Nicole. Here, it's about six total drawers. It's got a little light under there, a little hidden light. Small little vanity drawers. I like that. A little neat. All right. This is a big window, and that's where that big on, uh, awning is outside. We've got a washer-dryer combo, made in Italy, splendid, 2100. Oh, wow, wait a minute, we got a TV that comes out here. How about that? Check it out. And it swivels. How about that? Clever. You can put another TV here if you'd like. Some extra stuff. I don't know where they came from, but they go with the motorhome, all that stuff. Uh, so we left the original carpet there. We do all the flooring is in hardwood, but the carpet is in pretty good shape. Let's open this up and see what we got under there. In there, two extra chairs that came from factory. Uh, I guess it's cedar lined closet. Got lots of uh, hangers that'll go with it. Back, back access panel to your washer dryer. I don't know where the light button is for this. Probably somewhere. It locked in place there. Oh, there's all your Central vacuum system. I think I've got something. It's a spring loaded and come back down. All right. Got a side stereo, another little drawer here. Some more storage up on top. This will conclude our video on this 2006 Itasca Horizon Model 40, K as in kilo, D as in delta. In really good shape with only 18,000 miles. 400 horse, beautiful full body paint outside. Uh, we have a title from Florida. It's a clean free title, ready to earn your business. We do take trade. We also help you to get financing done on this motorhome. Uh, give us a call, 
at 864-404-0054. It's getting late. We may not do a test drive video, but my driver who drove from Florida to here, he said drives fantastic. Drives really, really, really nice. Uh, those folks that debating to buy diesel or gas, let me tell you what, diesels are the way to go in a ride. The air ride, air brakes, they ride a whole lot better. Um, this Freightliner is just a nice air ride chassis. So we're probably not going to do video, but if you are really serious, want to buy this motorhome, we'll do, we'll do video for you. Or you come and buy it and drive it home. Uh, my number is 864-404-0054. Or you uh, may call my daughter at 864-569-5636. We prefer text communication, but if you don't know how to text, no worries. Call us, leave us a voicemail, and we'll get back to you. Uh, anything else you'd like to add, Liz, Nicole? Well, all good. All right, thank you so much, and uh, Happy New Year. Have a great day.